Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Lumen Moon Tarot. So, um, so collective, I gotta say, the last two readings that I've done, I've picked up on people wanting to come back around with these CD offers, the sarcasm, um, even items bringing you gifts that have spells attached to them. I mean, you know what, the energy, you guys, <laughs> I need you all to use your discernment when every with everyone who approaches you right now for real and trust your intuition you know if something feels off about somebody or their offer or their communication whatever it is they're bringing you don't worry about hurting their feelings i feel like you need to be concerned about protecting yourself okay i'm telling you this energy that i've been getting man or people are coming forward with literally nothing to offer you, right? Let's get back together after their finances are shot, after they're extremely burdened. Um, I, you need, really need to um, use your discernment these days, okay? Really, trust that intuition, man, with everyone who comes close to you. Anyway, this reading is for the collective, so it, it's not going to be for all of you, okay? Just take what resonates. Leave the rest behind, right? Don't try to force it. And thank you so much, everyone, um, for all of your support, the likes, the subscribes, the comments. Um, guys, I'm just annoyed by the energy today uh, in the readings, right? Seeing people approaching you um, with really nasty plans. All right, so I, I really need you guys to be careful. All right, Divine, what messages? Hopefully we'll get better messages in this reading. It's whatever the Divine wants us to know, okay? Messages for the collective, please. <sighs> yeah. People are under judgment. Yes, everything that I was talking about, everything that I was talking about, it's almost like, you know, all of these people, they're all being judged. Things are coming to an end here. The door is shut. Yes. Yes. Um, yeah, and I feel like you're being set free from a mental prison. I, people can't keep treating other people the way they have been, okay? They can't keep approaching the collective with nasty thoughts. They can't keep sending bad energy. They can't keep sending out spell work. They can't, you know, if, and people, some of these people just want to hang on to your energy. They don't want to see you moving forward. They don't want you to, uh, they don't want you to succeed. They want to keep you in a mental prison, keep you feeling heartbroken, alone, and abandoned. Okay, but the divine is saying we're freeing you from this. We're freeing you. You're out of the mental mind trap now. Yes, they're using this sword to cut you out of everything that's binding you. And I feel like you're getting clarity, okay? Whether these people who have hurt you in the past, or it could be situations too, whether they come towards you or not with any explanations or closure or information, the divine is showing you all you need to see here, okay? All you need to see about whoever it is that's kept you like this, okay? And feeling like you were crying under a blanket, alone. You're, you're being cut free from all of the burdens and the, um, the mental anguish here that people have put you through, it's over. Um, the Wheel of Fortune, I usually see, this is big change. This is also tr uh, death and, and transformation, right? Um, I feel like the past cycle is over. The people who have hurt you in the past, they don't even want you to turn around and look at this anymore. So I feel like none of us are even supposed to be paying attention to other people's karma right now. We're supposed to be moving forward, going where the divine is leading you, okay? But yeah, you're being set free from this. And I usually see this Wheel of Fortune um, as change and as a big giant vault door that's slamming shut. It's the end to a cycle, okay? Truth, yeah, the betrayal, and yeah, these people are getting their karma for betraying you. It's almost like you're delivering, it's almost like you were their karma and they didn't realize it. Okay? Whoever has wronged you, 
Yeah, because you're out here as a light worker. Because they broke your heart, so now they're getting their karma. As you move forward, having a victory, being healed and broken free. Look, you were stuck, but now you're in the chariot, okay? That's having a victory. That's leaving a battlefield, having a victory, okay? So you are definitely being freed from any bad energy scent, from any kind of pain, any kind of mental entrapment. The divine is going to be delivering you any kind of clarity, the clarity that you need to move forward. Okay? And that's, I feel like you already have it here. You, this is fast forward movement, being healed, um, being put through a battle, but coming out victorious in emperor energy. Okay, um, so you're, you, you went from this and crying under a blanket to this, the emperor driving the chariot. You can't stop the chariot. Only the divine can stop the chariot. Okay, and the divine is keeping the riffraff away from you. All of these people, whoever wronged you, I feel like it could be a whole group of people. This could be a group of, like a family group, a friend group, could be all of your exes, <laughs> you know? I mean, uh, if I feel like you're moving forward alone. It's the divine in this boat that's helping you move forward, okay? Um, and I feel like if you're alone, that means you, you probably got hurt by a lot of people. Leaving these people behind to get their judgment, to get their karma for hurting you, okay? feel like you you were the, these people's karma and they, did, they had no idea yet. They know it's coming now. Everything they did to you, all of these swords, it's all coming back on them. Here it comes. And I feel like these people can feel it, okay? They can feel it up from their feet, man. <laughs> they can feel this tower coming. They know they're under judgment. Um, they've, they've been getting signs, synchronicities. Here's the thing. Everyone has intuition. Um, the difference is those who believe and trust their intuition and those who don't. You have been trusting your intuition, okay? Enough to move forward, healed, in, in the, as the emperor. Um, whether you're feminine or masculine, you're adopting both energies here, Okay? Um, but these people didn't listen. They, they're, they're hearing the call now. They know they're under judgment now. They know that everything they did to you is coming back on them now. Yeah, as their life is blown to smithereens here, as their life is blown apart. It's all because of this. The Queen of Swords energy, okay? See, I always compare the Queen of Swords to the Queen of Cups. She gives her love to people and they betray her for it. The reason she's holding this sword in the first place is because she's been, this is the sword that was used to stick, stab her in the back. And whoever stabbed you in the back, they never helped you heal. You had to pull the sword out of there yourself, bleed out, and heal all by yourself, okay? So you've been sitting here wanting the truth from people, wanting an explanation of why you were so betrayed for giving people your love, for being nurturing, kind, generous, tender, caring, loving. Why were you betrayed, right? Well, the divine has seen everything, my darlings. They've seen it all, okay? Um, and I feel like they're moving you out of the way. You could even be making a house move here. This is travel as well. Um, but yeah, as you move forward, man, you deliver them the tower. You do. They're, they're, listen, their whole foundation is crumbling under their feet. They know that karma is coming for them. Everything they put you through is, is happening to them. And they know why now, because they were messing with an earth angel. They were messing with a light worker here. They broke your heart. This is light worker energy, and you didn't deserve it. You're a peaceful person. You didn't do anything to these people. You gave them love, okay? 
you know. You're a healer. You are probably these people's healer. You could be a Cancer Pisces Scorpio, can't, heavy on Cancer. You could be a Libra Gemini Aquarius, uh, heavy on Aquarius. You could be a Scorpio. Yep. You could have been dealing with liars, opportunists, people who did whatever they wanted to you and thought they would get away with it. They're not getting away with anything. Anything. And this is when people start coming back around because they certainly don't want to suffer the same kind of stuff they gave you. They don't want to suffer the same kind of pain they put you through. They're ridiculous people. I don't know who this is. I feel like it's a whole group. Okay, yep, here's where they want to come back in. Yeah, they'll be solid for you now. You could be dealing with um, a, maybe a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You're about to hear from some people. Maybe they'll start complaining, um, complaining about their karma. I feel like they're trying to run from their karma, to be honest with you. They thought they would get away with it, and they're trying to run from it now. And I feel like now you don't feel emotions like, like you used to for these people. You're thinking logically for yourself, remembering every bit of pain they put you through. You know, um, this could be an apology, a gift, any, anything. You know, can we talk? You know what I mean? I feel like you're very grounded, very stable, and you, you're definitely not in your emotions anymore. Okay. Yeah, you don't feel the same way anymore. I feel like you're going to send these people away. Go suffer your own karma. You, you, you know, you wanted to do this. You wanted to choose something else over me, then stay there. If you were going to treat me like this after the love I gave you, you go ahead and deal with that karma coming back on you. Like you're going to turn these people away, whoever this is. Okay. Yeah, because you, you are no longer in your emotions. You've healed. You remember the pain. You're moving on. You, um, you're already in, a, in a, a place of victory here in your life. Yeah, mm -mm. I, I feel like these people, they just can't come back in. It's the end here to all of this madness. Okay, it is. It's the end to the madness and and um and freedom for you and these people are kind of scrambling you know i see them kind of scrambling because they know that they're about to get the karma for every bit of pain they put you through period period we got wish fulfillment yeah now they're wishing that they would have you know um chosen you or treated you better maybe these are people that kept their back turned, maybe laughed at your pain, laughed while you, while you were hurting, made you wait for any kind of, you know what, no, nope, it's done. They're done. They're done. You're moving on. You're being freed. The divine is taking, the divine is taking control of the situation, okay? Um, they, these people are under judgment and they're having their karma issued to them um, the same amounts that they of pain that they gave you okay that's really truly what I'm feeling and I feel like now it's too late for these people to make anything right they may come in and try this is communication somebody may be bringing you a little gift or an invite and I feel like you just don't feel the same way about them anymore okay I'm seeing like no emotion. So this is like feel no ways, right? Feel no ways about it. Mm -mm. Yeah, they're, they're not coming back in. <laughs> uh -uh. And you're in emperor energy too. Whether you're feminine or masculine, you are taking on um, the energy of the emperor here, driving this chariot, having a victory. You're, and it's like you're healed and you're better off without these people. That's kind of um, the feeling that, yep, their time is up. It's done. Yep, you're releasing them. Oh, and I have a stray card in this deck. Yeah, and these people are scrambling. As soon as you release them, 
it like it like tells the divine okay it's time for these people now to get their karma and i'm telling you they start scrambling like scared little mice all over the place because they know oh <laughs> they know they know yeah you're leaving the scene you're leaving leaving these people behind and i feel like the divine has been also waiting for people you know um, the ones that have been doing their work, the ones that deserve their justice, right, in all of this, they've been waiting for everybody to kind of get out of the way so that these, so the divine can take over and um, give these people their karma. Yeah, you've been kind of in the way, <laughs> you know. You've had to move from this area to this to this side. Okay, some of you could be taking a, making a house move here, a location change. Leaving these people behind completely. Okay, you're leaving them behind. And you're being divinely led and protected. And I'm telling you, it's stirring up a whole lot of chaos and conflict with this group, this community. Okay? Oh, yeah, but that's how it's working here, especially on this mat in this reading. Um, you shut the door, you leave the scene, you release this, you turn your back on these people, and I'm telling you, chaos and conflict explodes in the background, okay, with the whole entire group. Yes. Oh, yeah. <sighs> You delivered these people's karma, okay? You really were their karma. But it's all because of how they treated you. So anyway, collective, that's what I have for this reading. Gosh, you guys, the messages are just crazy today. I'm telling you. Um, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates with you. Uh, like and subscribe to the channel if you like this vibe. And until next time, everyone, take care of you and peace out.